Karen, um, you've said that you are ashamed of the policy of offshore detention and that as a doctor and a human being it offends you. Could you please describe exactly how you will work to support an immediate end to offshore detention? Just before we came on set tonight, I heard the news that 16 uh, very ill Sorry, children... I, I need to correct that. It's now, and the, the border forces corrected this, it's now 11 children have been uh, brought back to Australia, not 16. Sorry. That's 11 children who've been rescued from appalling circumstances. <laughs> and I believe we can thank the voters of Wentworth for that result because it has been front and centre in the debate. Would you be prepared to use what power you have in the balance of power uh, to do something on this issue? Look, I think the most important thing is that uh, we give now the government an opportunity to respond to what the people have said. The people have spoken on this issue, I believe, in this by-election. But is there a subtle threat behind that, that there could be support of a no-confidence motion if that didn't happen? I'd rather work by encouragement. I think the government will be encouraged to take action as they have done today and with an election looming in May of next year, uh, it, the government will be judged on its response to this and, and I don't think it will take a motion of no confidence to have them act on this. Uh, I, I think that the writing's on the wall with this particular issue. Would a Labor government ever detain children in offshore detention centres again? Well, what a Labor government would do is ensure... We, we aim to ensure that you stop the boats. No, is that it? That's really, well, well, you should be no, able to no. answer that by a yes or a no. No, no detain, that's not right, because you're assuming, you're assuming that it doesn't work. That's the assumption, so, that you've got kids well, let's in a, detention. Let's assume, well, I'm not let's assuming that. Let's, I'm assuming... Let's assume that you believe it works. I'm, I'm assuming would you that continue you continue to do it in government? Well, there wouldn't be any, Tony. That's the point. I think you can have strong border protection without, without having the step that this government has done, which is to perhaps, it's either conscious or due to incompetence, leave people there beyond any reasonable frame when it could have been sorted out. We need to bring all of the children and their families, not just the very sick children. We don't wait till there's an emergency, but all of the, sick, all of the children and their families to Australia for urgent medical, psychological and, and community treatment. Uh, I think we also, also need to look at, uh, at the options that are on the table uh, for uh, resettlement options. And, and the New Zealand option is, I think, uh, a very good interim measure at least.